Let's estimate the area under the curve by computing the Riemann sum L8. The subscript 8 tells us that we're going to split this interval from 0 to 8 into 8 subintervals, and the L tells us that we're going to use the left Riemann sum. Splitting the interval from 0 to 8 into 8 subintervals is pretty simple, but if you want to use the B minus A over N formula, you could and you would get that the length of each one of our subintervals is 1. Great, now we're going to use the left endpoint on each one of these subintervals to give us the height of a rectangle. You'll notice the height of our first rectangle is 0. Continuing that pattern gives us 8 rectangles, well really 7 real rectangles and 1 infinitely small rectangle, but we can add up all the areas of these rectangles to approximate the area under the curve. If I may, I'm just going to say that I know that the width of every one of my rectangles is 1, and I'm just going to add up the heights of all of my rectangles, multiply that by the width of 1 for each rectangle, and that should give us our sum. Okay, the height of the first rectangle is 0. Continuing on, we get that the heights of all of our rectangles is this list right here, and if we add all of that up, we get 23, which is a really quick answer to this problem. I want to give you some bonus math, but I think I gave you all the good stuff in the Riemann Sums 2 video, so you can refer back to that. And in that Riemann Sums 2 video, I end up kind of coming up with this formula right here that gives us the area under any curve using Riemann Sums. So go back and check that out if you want to, uh, but for this video, we are finished.